Greetings, everyone. Today I want to talk about Pride Month. LGBTQ plus Pride Month is steeped in a history of bravery and courage for those who broke their silence during a police raid at the Stonewall Inn on June 28, 1969. This uprising became known as the Stonewall Riots and laid the foundation for what we celebrate today as Pride Month. For the Department of Defense, Pride is a time to remember and reflect on the countless LGBTQ plus service members who selflessly fought to defend our rights and freedoms in every conflict and branch of service since the founding of our nation. One of those service members was Technical Sergeant Leonard P. Matlovich a Vietnam War veteran who voluntarily served three combat tours. He was awarded the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star. Despite his commitment and willingness to give so much to our nation, he was dishonorably discharged when he became the first gay service member to purposely disclose his sexual orientation to challenge the discriminatory ban on homosexuals in the military. And we remember Army Colonel Greta Camera Meyer, whose tireless fight for equality in the armed forces created a legacy that still resonates today. Last November, I was humbled to preside over the christening of the USNS Harvey Milk, an underway replenishment oiler named after gay rights activist and Navy veteran, Lieutenant Junior Grade, Harvey Milk. Like so many others, Milk was forced out of the Navy because of his sexual orientation. But that never deterred him. Instead, he continued to serve our nation as a fearless advocate for civil rights, becoming the very first openly gay city commissioner in the United States. It was the courage of these proud service members, and not others like them, that finally led to the 2011 repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy, which resulted in the separation of more than 13,000 service members. This month, we commemorate that policy's repeal, allowing gay service members to serve openly without fear. In 2016, our military took another leap forward with the addition of policies allowing transgender service members to openly serve. And last year, an executive order signed by the president prohibits involuntary separations, discharges, denials of continued service based on gender identity. These milestones have moved us closer to a force where every sailor, Marine and civilian can serve with dignity and respect as their true selves. As of 2018, nearly 10% of our Navy personnel and just over 4% of Marines are serving openly as LGBTQ+. But there is still progress to be made. Whether in uniform or not, all who serve within our department have a right to openly and proudly live their truth without repercussion of discrimination. In May, I released a workplace anti-harassment policy statement and I urge you all to please read it. I expect you all to continue to cultivate a culture of respect that is fueled by strong leadership, active prevention, and prompt response to harassment. Extremism and prejudice will never be tolerated, not on our watch. Today we have sailors and Marines and civilians of all genders, races, religions, ethnicities, sexual orientations, and gender identities throughout our Department of the Navy. Our people are the military's strategic advantage and embracing these differences will enrich our experiences and encourage unity. Together we must continue to promote an environment of diversity, equity, and inclusion within our services and build a culture of warfighting excellence grounded in respect and opportunity for all. I am incredibly proud of all who serve in the Department of the Navy and very thankful for the contributions you make every single day. I'm proud to be your Secretary of the Navy. Thank you and your families for your service to our nation. And happy Pride Month.